The Rock, not planned for WrestleMania 41. Plus, we have an update on a new WWE Championship and AJ Styles' future plans have been revealed. It's all in the Cultaholic Wrestling News right now. Do you smell what The Rock is cooking? Exactly. Can't smell a thing. What? Uh, yeah, uh, now heading into WrestleMania 41. Looks like our boy Dwayne may not even be a part of it all. Yeah, so as of right now, Dwayne Johnson is not scheduled for WrestleMania 41, according to sources close to the Wrestling Observer. Um, a source close to the Observer is quoted as saying he's not going to be able to do Mania. He already gave word that he wouldn't be able to do that match when asked about, you know, The Rock, Reigns, and Cody Rhodes. Uh, the story is simply his schedule got too heavy. He he couldn't commit to doing it right now. Uh, the Observer also adds if he was to change his mind, ultimately he would decide who he wants to face. And the only thing that would get a pushback was if he wanted to win the WWE title. In which case, it's hard to say what would or wouldn't prevail. But that's not an issue at all right now. Johnson's schedule has always been a factor because of the amount of preparation time he feels he needs to do what he wants to be able to do. This is why we didn't get Rock versus Roman at WrestleMania 39. Yes. I think it was meant to be. Yeah. So it was. So it, he, he needs a lot of time to get into that position. Obviously, when it comes with reports, we take them with a grain of salt, and we've seen lots of conflicting things around this, including the Rock turning up last Saturday at Bad Blood, mm. giving it the old one, two, three, let's yep. go, let's go, and uh, and which is maybe which is kind of led to reports about there potentially being a triple threat match on the table, uh, possibly a match in Rock and Roman, a match in Rock and Cody, mm -hmm. maybe both. Maybe both. Who knows? But as it stands, the latest in this pile of reports, uh, which we are peppering with a bit of salt, <laughs> is uh, The Rock might not be able to be part of WrestleMania at all, which really does change things for WrestleMania. Mm. Let's talk about uh, the WWE Crown Duel Championship. Oh, okay. The then. Vajazzle Diet. <laughs> title as <laughs> Ross Tweddle called it. Well that's something I've never heard before well, but I like it. You have now. Um, so what do we what do we know in terms of what WWE are going to do with this thing? So this comes from the latest WrestleVotes radio. Uh, they give an update on this WWE Crown Jewel Championship saying the Crown Jewel Championships we're hearing are strictly for Saudi Arabia. They may appear the week after as Raw's in Saudi Arabia, but they are currently scheduled not to be full-time television titles, and they will not be defended throughout the year. So more of a winning of the King of the Ring type thing, where you win it, you celebrate, and then we move on. You remember when Braun Strowman won the Greatest Royal Rumble and he was presented a beautiful green title, and we haven't seen it since? It's more of that type of thing. I can't believe we talk about Roman Reigns having this iconic title reign when Braun Strowman has been undefeated for the greatest Royal Rumble Championship in years. Undefeated. What a guy. Uh, WrestleVotes go on to say, this is something when you have a partnership with the Saudi Arabia Public Investment Fund, they're going to have requests for WWE of things that they want to see happen. And this Crown Jewel Championship was something that came to them as an idea and WWE did a great way of figuring out a way to make it work. And uh, this is something that also goes back to the greatest Royal Rumble when mm. uh, there were there were reports that suggested they wanted Yokozuna in the match. Yes. And yes. they went, well, that's a great idea, but the, the Yokozuna's a bit dead, mm. so that might not be able to happen. <laughs> yeah, no, that's And true. the Ultimate Warrior. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Unfortunately, about, about about six feet from entering the Greatest Royal Rumble. But they had to work around that. But this is something that they have, again, like something that's come from the Public Investment Fund where they've gone, we'd like a title specifically for our event. Hmm. And you know what? I, it's, it's, it's as good an idea as any. And I think it, in time, we'll see how it plays out. I think that's it, isn't it? Because, you know, we think about these Crown Jewel pay-per-views and whatnot, and we're like, they always feel very cobbled together in that moment within that very specific sort of time frame between like we get maybe like a week or two before then and then we're like oh okay mm. so this looks like the direction and then after that nothing really plays out on tv so i mean i wonder if with this coming into play this championship yes obviously as is said there it's going to be a thing that only sort of revolves around that but at least when we get to the next pay-per-view and whoever is champion then there's like an anchor there that you can go off. Yeah. Like if, if Gunter, say Gunter wins uh, against Cody Rhodes and maybe they want to run it back or anything like that, there's at least a little bit of an anchor there that you could take storyline wise to then build up to something again. Mm -hmm. um, so I can see the benefit in that. It, it, it doesn't really do anything for me 
personally though. No, no, it doesn't. It's it's just it just seems as you say like a trophy mm. for that night. Yes, uh, but I would say that the crowd, the Saudi Arabia pay per views have become more canon. Yes, since yes, they began, sure. when initially they were just like these like these house shows with ludicrous firework budgets. Yeah. Uh, but nowadays they do very much feel a bit more in in keeping, but still, as you say, sometimes a little bit of a, yeah. a speed bump type it, event on it. the way it to feels, something else. It feels like we kind of just, we fast track towards the matches that we're getting there, we get them, and then after that, it's kind of like, mm. oh, we'll wait until the next I think one. The only one that didn't feel like that was the Elimination Chamber. Of because course, that was yeah. that was a, a, a specific mm. sort of, uh, checkpoint on the road to WrestleMania. Of course, yeah. Uh, let's talk about another collaboration away from WWE and Saudi Arabia. And let's talk about WWE collaborating with Call of Duty. What? Look here, look, listen. WrestleVotes Radio say that WWE uh, have this big video game tie-in with Call of Duty. They're in lines to talk they're in lines of talks uh, with the Call of Duty game franchise with Microsoft we can see say WrestleVotes Radio Call of Duty commemorative championship titles on the horizon potentially around Christmas time ah, that doesn't surprise me to be honest because mm -hmm. they always do stuff with like the NFL and the what is it the NHL as well um, and with Call of Duty being as big as a franchise as it is with I think Black Ops 6 is coming out this month, 25th of October, but like so many people will be buying it for uh, family members, children for Christmas and this, that and the other. Uh, so like to have a cross promotional thing makes, makes sense. I wonder mm. if that then bleeds into other sort of commemorative titles for other Microsoft platforms. Uh, uh, oh, uh, I guess IP, sorry. So like- No, 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 I want I want a Dominic Mysterio shaped plate in Flight Simulator. <laughs> oh yes, please. That'd be lovely. Yes, please. It'll be interesting because it'd be cool, say obviously, because Bethesda are under the wing of Microsoft now, like if we got Skyrim titles, but it was like for the Wall Raiders and stuff like oh, that. Oh, like little, nice. thing, little things like that might be quite well, we got Rhea Ripley nice. in Warzone 2.0. Yeah, in yeah. Card. That's it. In the Battle Pass, you can play as Rhea Ripley. Uh, so yeah, I like the idea of the War Raiders mm. being in Skyrim. That's yeah. great. Stuff like that, you know, yeah. Maybe instead of the Microsoft Office paperclip, maybe it's Braun Strowman. <laughs> that You're trying good. to write a letter! <laughs> I know Clippy doesn't exist anymore, but I just He lives to... in all our hearts, doesn't he? he lives... Of a certain vintage, I guess, now. In, yeah, in... Some people won't know who that is. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. And I hate you for it. In my heart, <laughs> Clippy is in my heart. Still trying to write a letter for me. No. Uh, let's talk about AJ Styles, someone who's been in our hearts all week. For very good reason, uh, it's been an injury concern for AJ, uh, but uh, sources close to the Wrestling Observer have given us details of where he's at and what the plan still could be going forward. Yes, uh, AJ Styles suffered a mid-foot ligament sprain during his match last week on SmackDown and was said to be pretty mad about the whole thing. Uh, the Wrestling Observer reports AJ was set to begin a storyline that would be his farewell tour and would his retirement it's reportedly still the plan pending the results of his MRI we've been hearing for a while that AJ is ready to start winding back and, yep. and go home and wants to finish on a high uh, in WWE uh, maybe dip into TNA mm. that's something that we are just trying to will into existence yeah. more than anything else bound for glory around the horizon around the corner AJ just saying. just saying so all being well should AJ's MRI come back well then mm. we'll get a, a better picture of what the next steps for him in his in his uh in his sunsetting of his career could be. Yeah. We may know as soon as SmackDown tonight. I think the two mm. big things in, in our video here, and we thank you for watching this far, uh, is the fact that The Rock currently isn't planned for WrestleMania 41, but we know Roman Reigns is on SmackDown tonight to address The Rock, who turned up at the end. Yep. So we may get a better indication of whether this is the case, or and if it is the case, he's not doing Mania 41, when we do see The Rock yeah, going it's, forward. Man, it's crazy, isn't it? Because I thought with The Rock coming out, the sort of like this, it feels like this time of year, this and Survivor Series, Series, we start to see little pieces fall into place that we could very well see at WrestleMania mm. and things like that. So I was like, oh, that's very strange maybe that hearing about this. Because obviously we've got Survivor Series coming up. I think a lot of people sort of expect him to play sort of some kind of factor within uh, the Bloodline 2.0, if that is where things go in terms of the Bloodline 2.0 and, uh, and the original Bloodline mm -hmm. remains to be seen. But yeah, it seems like this, the, the Rock stuff and the Aegis stuff, hopefully we'll see a little bit more 
more on Friday. Oh, tonight even. Well, Friday tonight. night SmackDown. Friday is tonight. It is tonight. And it's also the full the full order for the podcast is back. You've got Ross, Jack, mm. and Matthew this evening on the podcast. And Joel, of course. Joel as well. Will Joel Cam return? Yes. Oh, inquiring minds want to know. <laughs> and now we yes. do. Back tonight. All the lads together once again on the podcast feed. Uh, this weekend, AEW Wrestle Dream. We have nine pitches for Wrestle Dream. Uh, predictions for Wrestle Dream on the channel right now with Ross and Sam. And they'll be doing live reactions tomorrow at uh, youtube.com slash cobbledholic slash live. Uh, what happened at uh, with Jack the Jobber. And a pre-show TikTok party on the Cultaholic TikTok in association with DJ Ghost Bandit. Uh, we, we've had a great expense brought DJ Ghost Bandit to associate yep. with us. And you could associate with him on our Cultaholic TikTok. Uh, we'll go live uh, just a little bit before the, the, the Wrestle Dream stream starts. It's a little party beforehand on TikTok. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I suggested that maybe Ross and Sam would be necking a bottle of vodka, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Maybe they'll do it on the, on the main live stream. Chances are they'll be doing that anyway. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> You'll get that anyway. <laughs> uh, DJ Ghost Bandit. In association with DJ Ghost Bandit, we're on Cultaholic. On TikTok, come find us there. And for the latest wrestling news at any time, you can check out our brand new website at cultaholic.com. Keys, keys. Love you, bye.